And after tomorrow's election, some Pueblo voters will again have to cast their ballots in a different election. The city says the recall election for Councilwoman Amy Naraki will likely be an all mail in ballot election. Yeah, you are only eligible to vote, though, if you live in District 1. That's on the north side of Pueblo. Cardio News Channel 13's Michelle San Miguel joins us live, finding out how the city plans to pay for the recall when it's already strapped for cash. She's on the money trail tonight. That's right. The city estimates the recall would cost about $32,000. That may not sound like a lot of money for the city when it already has a multi-million dollar budget, but for years, Pueblo City Council has had a hard time trying to balance its budget. Pueblo City Council looks a bit different today than it did back in August. Two council members have resigned. First, Chris Kaufman, and just last week, Council President Sandy Daff. But Amy Naraki says she will not resign, which means a recall election will be held in January. We asked the city manager how the city plants to pay for it. We have budgeted $70,000 for next year's general election, so we'll go ahead and Take that money from that line item. Naraki became the target of a recall after being accused of violating the state's sunshine law by discussing public city business over email. If she wanted to do what was right, enough of her constituents in District 1 signed the petition, agreed to go forward with the election because they do not want her there. Naraki told me she does not plan to resign but had no other comment. As for filling DAF seat, the city will start taking applications this week and plans to fill that seat by the end of this year. Reporting live in Pueblo, Michelle San Miguel, KRDO, News Channel 13. Thanks so much, Michelle.